A class 2, A 5 marks in total, A 1 mark and A 4 mark. So, the depth of water, D meters, in a harbour on a particular day can be modelled by the formula D is equal to 5 add 2 sine of 30 times T, where T can be greater than or equal to 0, less than or equal to 24 where t is the number of hours after midnight. A boat enters the harbour at 6.30am and takes two hours to load its cargo. Uh, the boat requires that the depth of water needs to be at least 3.8 metres before it can leave the harbour. Part A, 1 says 2, uh, find the depth of the water in the harbour when the boat enters the harbour. So, 1 mark. So, at 6.30am, T is 6.5, so D is 5 add 2 sine of 30 times 6.5 smash that into your calculator and if we go to 3 sync folks we get 4.48 meters don't forget your units Okay, then part B for four marks wants us to find the earliest time that the boat can leave the harbour. Uh, so we're not allowed to use methods based entirely on graphical or numerical methods. So, first up, remember we were told the boat takes two hours to load its cargo. So, it entered at 6.30. So the cargo, so the cargo is loaded uh, by 8.30 a.m. So it's ready to leave at 8.30. Now, remember also that the question told us the boat needs the depth of water to be at least 3.8 meters. So, what we need is we need D to equal 3.8 meters. In other words, 5 add 2 sine 30 T has to equal 3.8. Now, let's try and chip that down to get the sine on its own. So, take away the 5, 2 sine 30t is equal to minus 1.2, divide by 2 sine of 30t is equal to minus 0 0.6. Now, if we inverse sine, we would get 30t is equal to uh, minus 36.87 roughly. But that is going to lead us to a negative value of t. So that's telling us a time before midnight. So, so that's no good because the boat probably can't time travel. So, let's also, now, let's say that theta is equal to 30t. Now, if we sketch sine of theta, then it looks something like that. So that's sine of theta. Now what we've just found is 
the inverse of minus 0 0.6 and that has given us theta or 30 t was minus 36.87 so that's no good to us but what is good to us is the solution over here so this value here will be remember sine crosses at 180 so this value here will be 180 add 36.87 so that's going to be uh, 216.87 so at that point theta is 216.87 so that means 30t is equal to 216.87 so if we try with this, if we divide by 30, we get t is 7.22. Now that is only 7.22 hours after midnight. So that's just going to be uh, 7 something in the morning. We know the boat is not ready to leave until 8. 30. So, at this time, the boat isn't ready. So then what we're going to do is go across to our next solution. Just there. Now remember, sign has a period of 360 degrees. So to get the theta value here, we would do um, minus 36.87 add 360. Now that is going to give us 323. Now, if we're saying that that is theta, and then that also means 30t is equal to 323.13. If we divide that by 30, we get t is 10.77 hours. So that means 10.77 hours after midnight. So if we do 0 0.77 times 60 to the nearest minute we get 42 so that's minutes. So the earliest time is 10 whole hours and 42 minutes after midnight so it's 10 42 a.m. cool